deep solar minimum is here, it has arrived. It could cause travel chaos and freezing weather. This is according to Sean Martin Express UK. The solar minimum arrived and scientists are warning of travel and climate chaos, extreme weather on Earth, as they notice an all-time high in cosmic rays, which are very dangerous for our health as well. The lack of solar particles from the sun is a sign the solar minimum is here. It's allowing more cosmic particles, particles from deep space, to penetrate Earth. During a solar maximum, the sun gives off more heat and is littered with sunspots. Less heat in a solar minimum, as what we have now, is due to a decrease in magnetic waves. Fewer magnetic waves equates to the sun being slightly cooler. And experts are expecting the solar minimum to deepen even further before it gets warmer. Well, we've seen what has done, it has done to our weather already. We've seen reported uh, record rains and floods in the United States, not only in the United States, but also Australia and uh, Europe as well, and across the Middle East. But uh, what we're concerned about, of course, is the extreme weather and uh, more to come up to the end of June, the beginning of July from what they're forecasting. And that's when the uh, hurricane season will be coming. It, the the uh, earth is so flooded and saturated with water, a lot of farmers have not even had the chance to plant this year, and they may not even have production this year. This is all caused from extreme weather, of course. Now, with less magnetic waves coming from the sun, cosmic rays find it easier to make their way to Earth as they have to battle against less solar winds. And now, with cosmic rays at an all-time high, Scientists know the sun is about to enter a prolonged cooling period. Scientists warn that more cosmic particles hitting the Earth can have serious impacts for our planet, including on air travel and, of course, our climate. Meteorologist Paul Dorian wrote for the Perspecta Weather, saying the sun continues to be very quiet and it has been without sunspots this year more than half the time as we approach what is likely to be a deep, solar minimum. Quote, one of the natural impacts of decreasing solar activity is the weakening of the ambient solar wind and its magnetic field, which in turn allows more and more cosmic rays to penetrate the solar system. The intensification of cosmic rays can have important consequences in such things as Earth's cloud cover and climate, the safety of air travelers, and as possible trigger mechanism for lightning, end quote. A long and deep solar minimum can also cause temperatures to plummet on Earth. The last time a prolonged summer solar minimum was in effect was the Maunder minimum, and that saw an un unbelievable 70 years, 70 deca seven decades of freezing weather. It began in 1645, and it lasted through 1715. And it happened when sunspots were exceedingly rare. During that period, temperatures dropped globally about 1.3 degrees Celsius, leading to shorter seasons and ultimately food shortages in what was called a mini ice age. Vancore Weather Meteorologist's website said, low solar activity is known to have consequences on Earth weather and climate, and it also is well correlated with an increase in cosmic rays that reach the upper part of the atmosphere. The blank sun is a sign that the next solar minimum is approaching and there will be an increasing number of, sun, uh, of spotless days over the next few years, he says. And we do have a solar storm, uh, we do have a space weather uh, solar storm warning. Uh, solar minimum is here. The conditions are in effect. The sun has been without sunspots, they say here on Space Weather, for 78 days so far this year. That's more than half the time. Well, that's why we have this cooling period. I don't know if uh, most of you have already noticed that. I'm sure you have. 
To find a similar number of blank suns, you have to go back to 2009 when the sun was experiencing the deepest solar minimum in a century. Solar minimum has returned, bringing extra cosmic rays, long-lasting holes in the sun's atmosphere, and strangely pink auroras. The noctilucent cloud season begins. Those are the clouds that look very pinkish, greenish, uh, goldish, bluish. Uh, just a few uh, minutes after sunset, when you see the sun just below the horizon, and you'll notice those color clouds. The early NLCs always found at high altitudes that surround Canada, British Isles, Siberia, Scandinavia. People in those areas, we offer our following observing tips. Look west 30 to 60 minutes after sunset when the sun has dipped below the horizon. If you see luminous blue-white tendrils spreading, Across the sky, you may have spotted a noctilucent cloud, an NLC cloud. Now, we also notice that the stratospheric radiation, for example, in space weather, they tell us from March 2015 to July 2018, basically a four year period, has uh, a, what happened is that we have a an 18% increase in radiation because of the fact that we have a uh, weakening in our Earth's magnetosphere, our magnetic, our geomagnetic shield. That's why we have more cosmic rays intensifying and reaching us. The main reason is the sun. Solar storm clouds such as the coronal mass ejection sweep aside cosmic rays when they pass Earth. During the solar maximum, CMEs are abundant and cosmic rays are held at bay. But now, when our solar cycle is swinging towards solar minimum, cosmic rays return, bombarding Earth. Another reason could be, of course, the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, which helps protect us from deep space radiation. It's also the weakening magnetic field. Now, this Radiation uh, measurement was from 2015-2018. Now we're in uh, almost reaching 2019, and it's been moving at uh, increasing at about five percent a year. So uh, we should be having from 18 plus another five. That's 23 percent. That's almost a quarter more radiation than we had five years ago. We have a quarter more radiation. That's astonishing. And this, of course, has to do with our solar minimum. This will only be uh, increasing, so we have to be very careful. We have uh, with the weak stream of solar wind flowing from a shallow coronal hole should re reach Earth again May 25th. So in two days, we'll have a new stream of solar wind with a possible CME. We have the Aurora, the northern lights, reaching almost to the border of Canada and the United States. So those of you who are in, for example, Montreal, Toronto, you will, maybe even Chicago, who knows, you'll be able to clearly see the northern lights, which are beautiful. I've seen them when I was a little girl. I was living in Montreal, Canada. It was around late February, a Friday night, very late at night. Beautiful, shimmering. Um, uh, rainbow colored clouds and it doesn't make any noise whatsoever and it seemed to be so close to us uh, basically above the treetops but it was just beautiful so uh, the solar wind speed is at 350.1 kilometers per second density of 3.6 protons per cubic centimeter according to space weather If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.